Get your hair crimpers out and grab your Walkman. If you're a fan of the 80s music era, well, there's a new exhibit in New York City just for you. What's a Walkman? <laughs> One museum has taken us back in time, and CBS 2's Dave Carlin gives us a sneak peek. New York, new music, from 1980 to 1986. We enter 1980s New York City with exhibit curator Sean Corcoran. First stop, this painting of legendary MC Dada Rock in front of his handbills. You go to a show, they give you a flyer for the next show. Clubs like Danceteria and the Mud Club showcased all kinds of music, often on the same night. Kid Creole and the Coconuts, new wave influenced by big band and Caribbean music. Here's a zoot suit from the act. Over here, the guitars from DNA, an experimental rock band that broke up in 1982. And this artist, everybody would soon come to know. She's from Detroit, but really got her start right here in New York in the music industry. In this time period, artists flocked to New York City, and different influences cross-pollinated in the music. And when so many musicians and artists from different New York City scenes got together, Grandmaster Flash, me, and this is uh, Debbie Harry and Chris Stein of Blondie, and with, of course, uh, Fab Five Freddy. They made magic. People thought disco was dead, but in truth, in New York, people love to go out and dance, particularly in New York. So this is the video lounge of 1980 in Danceteria. They would play their videos of past performances um, on, on a console TV, just like we have here. I hope this encourages more musical discovery of the music of this era. Come hear the history of this city and its music, 1980s style. At the Museum of the City of New York, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. You know, seeing your, life, seeing your life in a museum, that's a little, a little disturbing. Wasn't it fun, though? It was great. It was a great era. Well, it looks old <laughs> on film. Wow. It's great to kind of go back, though.